And, and then this uh, image in, in the back here, um, this is what I thought of as something that uh, CNN can do with the video wall. And, and what this uh, image, I, I just took this from CNN.com for the purpose of um, demonstration. Uh, but this is a, kind of a diagram of the mine accident in, in Chile. The, there's a photo here. So what I can do is I can just touch this. And then the, there's the photo. You can talk about it. This is the truck that brings water to the workers. Okay, And then when I'm done talk, uh, talking about the photo, I can just press this. And then it's done. Um, and then there's also a video down here that I want to take you to. There's this the, here. I can open up a, uh, a video here and click to play. And then here is a video playing of the mine workers. I can pause it. I can stop it. And then I can just move it out. Um, so it allows for a, uh, for, for a great degree of interactivity. Um, and then what, uh, what I have over here on the side is a map of Chile showing uh, the site of the accident. So I'm just going to bring this up a little bit larger. I'm going to show the location of where the accident took place. And then I'm just going to shrink it down here again. Um, and, and so I think it, it allows for very um, engaging storytelling and also um, to, to explain uh, graphs and diagrams in, in pretty great detail. And then what I also want to do is to uh, take you up above the video wall here. We can see is uh, the TVs, uh, they serve as pretty good branding. They can show the CNN logo, the CNN money logo. Um, and that, that's just right above um, the video wall here. So I want to show people of the mine shaft. I want to show that in greater detail. I can bring people to the side video wall where I can give people all the kind of the nitty gritty details in, in depth of what's uh, over here on the main video wall um, as well. Um, and then um, what I'm going to do Next is I'm going to get behind the crane so that I can show you kind of uh, what's, uh, what are the possibilities um, in terms of uh, what, what the crane can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the crane up. Um, and then in the, in the higher position, you can see the TVs above the video wall. And, and one thing that I thought that we could do uh, to start a video is to start it in this position. And then what I can do with the crane is I can just go right. And then I can go right to the smaller video wall here. And then the person on camera can start talking you know, with the smaller video wall. And then we can move into the main video wall. Um, and then another um, kind of sequence that I thought of was that uh, as a way to end the video is that we can kind of we can start at, um, at we can end at this small video wall here. And then when the person is finished with the video, what I can do is that I can zoom out and I can pull up. And that will give a, uh, a sort of over, overall view uh, of uh, the studio. And then this could also be a way to start a video. I can start from this position, from this position here. And then I can just go down and then into the person uh, talking. And then we can move into the uh, center video wall. Um, and there's one more thing that I forgot to show you. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more here. Um, another thing that I forgot to show you is that the video wall can also display kind of a, a pure white background. So if you want to have the kind of video where someone is just talking with a blank white background behind them, um, you, can, you can do that as well. Um, and that gives a certain kind kind of effect, and then you can you know or you can have the video wall display graphics as well.